crowds of people inside without masks, no social distancing. These are the scenes all over the Bay Area tonight. People out enjoying the first night of California's big reopening. KPI X5's Betty Yu is live in San Francisco with the reopening highs and some lows there. Betty? That's right, Liz. Certainly here, there are a lot of highs. People are pumped, and all across the city, the mood is celebratory. Take a look. We are inside Devil's Acre Bar here in North Beach. The owner says that the turnout tonight is amazing for a Tuesday night. This is something he hasn't seen in more than a year. <laughs> Tonight, there was a lot to cheers to at Haranita in the marina after more than 15 months of restrictions. The Peruvian restaurant was buzzing with activity at dinner time. The wait time for walk ins, 30 minutes. It just feels so good. You can look at people, you can smile. And this morning, I worked out indoors. Um, I did a Pilates class without a mask on, and it was amazing. And then I went and worked in a coffee shop all day, and I just miss what life used to be like. Vaccinated customers do not have to wear masks at restaurants. Workers are still wearing masks at many establishments to make diners feel comfortable. Uh, we have a, a reservations packed uh, for uh, the whole month, so uh, we know it's going to be great. From the marina to North Beach, we saw a mix of unmasked and masked people. I am kind of used to it. I mean, I do it because I want others to feel comfortable. I'm a nurse, so I wear a mask all day, every day at work. Um, so I'm, I'm wearing a mask regardless. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm ready to give it up in, like, social settings. Outside, you could feel relief and excitement in the air. But you could also see signs of loss. Family-owned Restaurante Parma in the marina was forced to close its doors for good after more than 40 years in business. <laughs> for months, there was no action behind the bar at Devil's Acre on Columbus Avenue. Future Bar's partner Doug Dalton plans on eventually reopening all 10 bars in the city. So this is a huge step for us. It's also a huge step for uh, the city being very supportive of small business. Betty, we know that staffing has been a huge issue industry-wide. What are you hearing there on the ground? Are folks going to start getting back to work? Well, the owner here, Doug Dalton, says it is a huge challenge for him to find workers because everybody is rehiring people at the same time. Just to give you an idea, right now he says he has a little less than half of his original staff back at work, and he has about five of his ten bars open at this time, Liz. So we'll take some time. Yes, and as people start coming back because they're excited to come back, those places are going to be busy. It's going to be a challenge to find enough people to serve all those folks. It will, it will take time and perhaps raising uh, some of the salaries for these folks to attract them. Yeah, no question. All right, Betty, thanks.